What's up guys? This is the video that I just found um, on this look right here. It's inspired by a picture that I posted on my Instagram a little bit earlier of Beyonce in concert. So I just wanted to recreate the look because I thought that it was really pretty. It's something that you can wear every day. And if you don't want to do a red lip, you can switch it up and do a, a pink lip or a nude lip whatever you prefer but I just recreated exactly how she had it with the very red lip with the gloss um, if you guys want to see exactly how I recreated this everyday gold glitter look then keep on watching okay guys I started off by priming my eyes with Lorex eye primer and I'm applying that all over my eyelid and blending it out with my finger Now I'm going to be taking NYX's eyeshadow base in the color skin tone and I'm going to be applying that all over my lid using a concealer brush. Now I'm going into the Lorex Pro Palette and I'm taking this color taupe and I'm going to be applying that as a transition color right underneath my brow bone using a blending brush. Using windshield wiper motions I'm just going to blend that color making sure that I blend it all the way to the bridge of my nose because actually I'm using it as a contour color. And now I'm going to take the new color from the palette and I'm going to put that right underneath my brow bone as a highlight. And going back into the blending brush to blend those colors together. And now I'm going to be taking this color from the palette called Sable and I'm going to be taking that and packing that on my outer V area. And now I'm going to be going, defining the crease a little bit more, the outer crease, by applying Espresso right on top of that color. Mainly focusing the color on the outer V area. And now I'm going to take a blending brush and blend the harsh edges out of that shadow making sure that you blend it out well. Now I'm going to be going back into the palette taking the color LT Bronze and, I'm, and a flat brush and I'm going to be packing that color all over my lid. Just the inner and middle part of the lid. Making sure that I blend it in with the brown colors as well. And now I'm just taking a blending brush going across the top into the crease to make sure that I blend all those colors together. You don't want to see any harsh lines. Now I'm going into the palette again, taking the color Pewter, and I'm going to just make those colors blend effortlessly together by applying that in the center of the gold color and the brown. And now I'm taking a black shadow and I'm going to define my outer V area just a bit more. Making sure that I blend it in as well. And now I'm just going to create a wing line on my top lash line using my NYC's liquid liner. Trying to keep the line as straight as possible and as close to my lash line as possible. Now I'm going to be taking Elf's Makeup Lock and Seal and a gold glitter from Sally's and I'm going to be taking those two and packing those colors on my inner and middle lid just to add a little bit of glitter to this look. And now I'm going to be taking some eBay Lashes, I'm not sure what number, and some Demi Wispies 120 from my beauty supply and I'm going to be putting those two together, stacking them on and that's how they look. Now I'm going to be taking this Ruby Kisses eye pencil and I'm not sure what the color is but I think it's a champagne color and I'm just using that in my waterline 
and I'm just dusting off the excess powder from underneath my eyes. Now I'm going back into that taupe color once more and I'm going to be blend, blending that color on my bottom lash line. Just to contour my bottom lash line, just to add a little bit of color. And now over that I'm going to be taking that color stable and going back over that color that I just applied. Darken it up just a bit more. And I'm just taking a contour blush, brush and blending it in. Now I'm reapplying that pencil once more because sometimes you lose the color from all the blending. So I'm just reapplying. Now I'm going into this palette again, taking that color champagne. And I'm going to be using that color as a highlight in my tear duct area and underneath my tear duct. Now I'm using Gray Lash Mascara and I'm going to be applying that to my top and bottom lashes. Now I'm taking my bronzer from Wet n Wild in the color Princess and my contour fan brush and I'm just going to contour my face starting with my forehead area, then my jawline, underneath my jaw and I'm also going to be contouring my nose and this just make you appear to have a slimmer face now I'm taking my blush my Femme Couture blush that I bought from Sally's and just a brush and I'm going to be blushing in circular motions making sure that I blend that blush in really well Now I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Shimmer Palette, and I'm not sure what number it is, but it's from the Fergie Collection, and my F Setting Spray, and I'm just going to apply that as a highlight to the upper part of my cheeks. And I'm also going to be putting it on the bridge of my nose forehead area and chin and cupid's bow. Now I'm going to be taking this wet and wild pencil in the color berry red and I'm going to be applying that all over my lips. Now I'm taking this MAC lipstick from the Riri Summer Collection in the color Ho and it's a berry red color and I'm going to be putting that all over my lips as well. I love this lipstick, it's so pretty, especially for fall that's coming up right around the corner. Now I'm going to be taking a Dots lip gloss, and it's sort of like a red, kind of like a berry, but it has hint, a hint of pink in it, and I'm just applying that all over my lips as well. Using blotting motions to blend the colors together. And now I'm going to set my face with F Setting Spray. And this is actually the final look, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I've been doing a lot of colorful looks, so I just decided to tone it down a bit for you. And this is it, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.